so Beam will no longer operate as a standalone company, and my employment at Beam and my employment at CNN, Beam's parent company, is no longer. That's a lot, and I want to use this, what will be a long, boring video, to unpack all of that and explain to you sort of the circumstances around that and what all that means. And I also want to explain a little bit of like why, like what the hell happened in the last year that, that led to this. This would be a much easier video to make if I could say that CNN fired me or that I quit from CNN. Neither of those things are the truth. The reality of the situation is I've been struggling there for a while. They've been struggling with me for a while. And collectively, we just decided this was the smartest way to move forward. For what it's worth, Matt, uh, Matt and I are hand in hand in this. So Matt will also be moving on. What does that mean for Beam the company? Well, Beam will no longer be this kind of standalone company. Instead, uh, what the media team has done in the last year, that will be absorbed into CNN Digital Studios, including most but not all of the Beam media team. Some people will lose their jobs. That's heartbreaking and uh, probably the part of this whole thing that's the hardest for me, but it is a reality. Um, on the technical side, so our, our entire tech force that has been so passionate about these two really amazing products they've been working on, that development will continue at CNN. And I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that because I believe in the products that they were working on. And I'm also happy about that because if they want it, they have their job attached to the same product that they've been so focused on for the last year. I'm also happy about the fact that CNN has decided to maintain the Beam YouTube channel. As some of the Beam media team is being absorbed into CNN Digital Studios, they're going to be focused on their own thing, which right now is the Beam YouTube channel. So that's also fantastic. Um, for what it's worth, it's mostly just a, a, a title, but for what it's worth, I'm going to stay on as executive producer of the content they're making on that channel. I'm, I'm attached to it. I'm happy about that. That's sort of, that will be my legacy with what, um, with what they're doing there. So what the hell happened? Uh, this is a very hard, that's a very hard question to answer. Um, I'll do my best to characterize what transpired over the last year from my perspective. And that's that, you know, post acquisition that was, you know, one year ago now, one year ago, January, there was such enthusiasm by me. I was the one who spearheaded this whole thing to get this thing off the ground and get it moving. And as we built out the team and as we built that infrastructure, and when I think back specifically to like early summer, late spring last year, when we were trying to get the media team up and running, so much of the, the way that worked depended on me as a creative, as a manager, as a leader of the team, as the architect for what we were doing. And, um, and I really struggled in that environment. It was not an environment that I was happy in. When I make stuff, when I make the videos that you see on this YouTube channel, I don't think... I don't discuss it with people. I don't ask permission. I don't ask for input. I just create. And via that process, I'm able to make something and find something and it, and it works for me. And the infrastructure at a, at a company like what we were trying to do at Beam, build something that's scalable, be bigger than just one individual, that process doesn't work. You can't just have one person doing one thing in a closet. We had a team and I didn't function well within that team. I didn't. And it, it bummed me out. It was something that I was tremendously frustrated about because I loved that team. The, every single member of that team was absolutely brilliant. And, and people that I, I consider friends. I hope they consider me friends, but people I genuinely care about. But I couldn't function as a professional. I couldn't function within that environment. And I really remember last summer was, uh, I was so frustrated. I remember going home and talking to Candace about it every single night. And those frustrations precipitated. And ultimately, I stepped out of a managerial role with the team and let them do their thing. And they flourished. Like, they made incredible content. I genuinely think that the Beam Media team, in my absence, functioned better than when I was there. And I would step in at the end and give feedback on the content that they were creating. So then ultimately, by the end of the summer, by fall of 2017, of last year, you know, my role there, I started to question, like, what value am I actually bringing to this company? You know, like, I can lean on my YouTube, my YouTube audience to try to bring attention to the company, but that's not, that's not a meaningful role for me. I'd love to make content, but if I'm going to go out and make Casey content, it belongs here. If I'm going to make Beam content, it goes there, but where do I fit? I don't know if this is making sense, but all of these unanswered questions, and most of them took place in my head, all these unanswered questions yielded just me being tremendously frustrated. And that frustration would often manifest when I was in the Beam studio, trying to work things through with the team and just being like, I just want to do this myself. And, and, and in the end, I wasn't happy. And that sort of led us up to when we started, when Matt and I started talking with, the, with our partners at CNN. 
and they were amazing. All they wanted to do was work with us and figure out solutions. And we had a bunch of ideas, a number of solutions. But in the end, this was the outcome that made the most sense for all parties involved. I mean, you know, we could have very easily put our heads down and hit revenue goals and focused on a business plan that was about hitting numbers and metrics. And like, that is the last thing in the world I want to spend my days doing. It wasn't interesting for me. And honestly, it wasn't interesting to our partners at CNN. They're like, that's not why we want to work with you. In the end, this was the optimal way for them to sort of leverage the team's talents and skill sets and, and use them in a way that would be, be most effective and functional for CNN, for their big investment that they made in this company. So that's what's happened. I guess a, a question that I imagine I would want to know is like, do I blame myself to, and I blame myself a, li a little bit. Um, I think there was a, a confluence of factors that led to this, this place, but I, I, I certainly take credit for, for a lot of them. I think that had I known then what I know now, would have, I would have operated very differently. But you know, it's, it's, it's more complicated than that. Beam was never a, a one man show. So what happens now? Well, now, you know, Matt and I are sort of free to do whatever we want. We don't have jobs anymore. I'm going to be, you know, making videos. Uh, I have some big ideas, but I don't think that this is the appropriate place for me to talk about what I'm up to next. Um, I want to figure that out more first. The team, um, you know, like I said, the entire tech team is going to be offered a position within CNN. Whether they take it or not, I don't know. The majority of the media team is going to be offered a position within CNN. Whether they take it, I don't know. The people who aren't offered their position, uh, you know, I... I well, I do know that CNN's giving them a extremely generous uh, severance package. CNN, by the way, has been uh, incredible. And not just with this decision, but uh, since the very first time I met those guys, they've been incredible. And whether you uh, like CNN editorially, or you watch CNN, or you care about CNN at all, I can tell you that every single person I met there and got to interact with there over the last year from the that sweet woman who checks my ID when I walk in the front door, to the CEO, every person there has been incredible. That is a company that is comprised of amazing people and getting to work with them, around them, be near them has been one of the, the great pleasures of my entire career. Um, and I mean that. How do I feel? Like, how do I genuinely feel right now in my heart? Uh, I think I'm, a, I'm not mad. There's nobody to blame here. Um, if there's anybody to blame, I, I blame myself for my own shortcomings over the last year, but I don't fault anybody, so I'm not angry. I'm sad. I'm, I'm sad that I won't be able to work with the people that I've enjoyed so much to work with over the last year. I'm relieved, although that, sounds, that feels weird to say. Um, I'm relieved because the last couple of months have been very stressful trying to figure this out. And then I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I feel there's somewhere between guilt and, and anxiety about the team. Even the people who decide to stay with Beam, stay with CNN and, and continue to work their work within CNN. It's not easy going through transitions like this, and I feel terrible about that. I mean, that's these are people I really care about, and they're going to have to deal with disruptions that um, that nobody likes to deal with. I'll say that I feel like I'm taking an L here. Uh, I, I I don't see this as a failure. I see this as a company where we succeeded. This is a company where we tried 200 times, and 99 of those times we succeeded. And 101 of those times, we didn't. And that's, where, that's what got us to where we are right now. And that's what it means to be an entrepreneur. You try things. Like, you know, we, I, I, last year, I stepped up to bat with CNN, and I struck out. Um, but the year before that, I stepped up to bat, and I, I hit it out of the park. And, and that's what it means. Uh, if I was timid, if I couldn't handle something like this, if I didn't think this might be an outcome, I wouldn't have tried it in the first place. You know, that, that's how this works. In fact, that's one thing that I feel weird about. It's just how cliche this is. So many of my startup friends are going to be texting me as soon as they see this video saying, I told you so. And that, that hurts me a little bit because I, I, I had such high expectations here. Um, but it's not uncommon for startups to be acquired by bigger companies and then to struggle. Ironically, Matt's previous job was head of engineering at a company called Tumblr. Remember Tumblr? They were the hottest social network in the world until Yahoo bought them. And now, you know, when was the last time you checked your Tumblr account? This happens. This is common. I'm not saying that to be dismissive. I just think that's the reality of the situation. Now I, 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 you'll still see me on YouTube like you do as often as I can possibly make videos. I'm going to do as much as I can with the team to help them and help them figure out what's next and what they want to do individually. But as I'm, as I'm sitting here sort of ruminating, getting nostalgic about this little company that Matt and I started three years ago and all the struggles that we had and our trips out west to raise money and all the no's that we got and the two yeses we got that... 
I, 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 get, I get sad. I get nostalgic about this whole thing. Um, I get nostalgic about the fact that the reason why I picked up my camera to start vlogging was because I wanted to have a vehicle to share my new tech company. I credit Beam with making me take YouTube more seriously. And the fact that that chapter of my life is closing is something that does make me, um, make me a little bit sad and nostalgic in kind of a sappy way. Okay, that's it. That was a lot. Um, and maybe I'll do a, a Q&A tomorrow or later this week if there's interest in some of the specifics of, of what's happening, why it happened, and anything else you might want to know about. Um, as always, I, I really do appreciate you and the support this audience has given me over the last several years of, of building this company. And I, I want to be as forthcoming with what's happening now with you as I possibly can. Okay, thank you for your ongoing support. And... Um, and yeah, see you soon.